Welcome back to the Noosh Weekly Vlog. And once again, I am Chris Noosh. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday, well, over the weekend, we did a uh, like a bathroom refurbishment project where we ripped out a medicine cabinet and put a, put some drywall back up to plug up the hole and paint it and all that fun stuff. Uh, so yesterday I cleaned up from that mess, put everything back that we ripped out from this weekend back where it belongs downstairs and cleaned out the downstairs area. Uh, today, this week, I was thinking about maybe doing something for Valentine's Day because that is quickly approaching, but I don't have any ideas for that yet. If you have an idea, you know, drop a comment because maybe <laughs> I'd be. <laughs> um, I'll start working on that sometime next week, maybe, or maybe not, I have no idea. Um, but what I want to do this week is I got a request to do some prints on wood, much like this. I was doing these, I did these starting last year um, and I was sell, selling them mostly at festivals, um, but festivals stopped happening. So I stopped making them and I've had a pile of them sitting on my painting desk, ready to be made since, you know, early last year. You've probably seen them in the backgrounds of me painting since then. So I want to finish those. And I also got a re- Oh, goodness. Belvedere! Quit barking. All right. I also got a request to make some of my llama astronauts of this on wood. So I'm going to do a small edition of those, probably 10 to 15 of those, depending on how much wood I have uh, to make of those. So I'm going to finish up the ones I started last year and create some new llama astronaut ones for this year. And that's going to be my big project this week. Follow along, see how I do it. First thing I got to do to get these prints going is I got to measure out this llama. And this llama is, it is uh, 13 inches by 18 inches. So I'm going to cut however many 13 by 18 inches uh, blocks out of this wood that I can get. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right, I was able to get 11 of these boards out of that sheet of wood. And you see there, they fit just like, you know, hopefully they fit. Yeah, they fit. So uh, now I need to go put a dirty print on each one of these boards and I'll tell you what that dirty print means because that may not make a whole lot of sense to you right now at the moment. Let's go, let's go get that dirty print going. All right, so the goal is to get something that looks kind of like this, but with the llama astronaut, which means that I need to know where everything is going to land on the board so that when I paint something white, it stays in the white. When I paint something other colors, I know where those colors are. So what I need to do is figure out how to know that. I'm gonna use a technique that is, it's a, I call it a dirty print or a ghost print on the board. And uh, and then I use registration techniques. Registration is basically means I had to get something to line up in the same place multiple times. So with these with these prints, I'm going to ink, ink my llama up very lightly by putting out the smallest amount of ink onto my board, onto the, uh, the inking area. And I'm gonna roll it out. So I just get my ink, just so I get my brayer dirty. So there's ink on there, but not a lot of ink. And now I'm gonna roll my dirty brayer onto my block. It feels like I'm not doing anything, but I am. I'm 
putting just the thinnest layer of ink on the surface of this block. Now I'm gonna take this block that's lightly inked up and I'm going to place it face down on the wood that I just cut. So it's uh, the whole design is on the board and I'm just gonna trace the outline of this block. All right, and that's just gonna give me an idea of where to place it later. And then I'm gonna make some some registration marks. This is kind of a, a version of the T and bar registration that you, is common in lithography. But I'm just using it to make sure that I've got a handful of ways that I know that the block is placed down in the same place every time when I use it. So I'm just put, gonna put a couple all across across the whole board. Put one there. Put one there. I think that should be enough. Now, I'm gonna put some plastic over the surface of it to protect my roller from getting ink on it. And I'm just gonna send it through the press. Just keep cranking, just keep cranking, just keep cranking. And with any luck, I put enough ink on the board that this is going to turn out nicely. All right, let's take a look. See, just enough ink. Felt like we weren't doing anything, but in fact we were. All right, now to do that 10 more times. Pile of print is finished. I have a handful of t-shirts I need to make. Um, I'm gonna do those and then call it a day. Those are done. It's Wednesday now, and today I have to paint all the ghost prints I made yesterday. So I'm only gonna paint little aspects of each one. I'm not gonna paint the whole thing, and then I'm gonna mask them off and spray paint large areas to make it fun and colorful and cool. So for now, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna paint like little detail areas on this one specifically going to be the llama head I'm going to paint and then I'm going to paint all the white strapping in here and everything else will be spray painted. I've got all the elements that need to be painted on these llamas, painted on the llamas. Now, I've got a handful of the random ones that I printed a long time ago. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the elements that need to be painted here, and then I can start masking them off to be spray painted for tomorrow. And I finished printing all the random ones from a year ago or so, and they're all done. Uh, now, I can take some time to mask them all up, cut the tape out, and uh, get ready for spray paint tomorrow. Do you want to see Marty? Marty's been uh, Marty's been snoozing in her little cat house all day. You snoozing? Yeah, she's snoozing. I was hoping she was gonna yawn. She makes this crazy face when she yawns, and this is about the time she yawns when I come and talk to her. Oh. <laughs> Got it on camera, but you didn't see her face because she turned away. All right, let's go cut those up. All right, so time to tape this all up, mask it all up so I can spray paint the uh, the suit on here. I'm doing this on a smaller table than I typically would, and here's B's butt. <laughs> um, but I'm doing that so I can get the camera on the other side of the table. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to this one and then I'm gonna do the other ones off camera. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pull off some, I've got some masking tape and I'm gonna mask off some of the areas that need to be covered. 
I'm going to try to use the fewest pieces of tape as possible. So right for this one, I'm just doing this, this chest piece. Um, and I'm going to smooth out that tape. So it's down there real good. And then you can see through it, right? So I'm going to cut out the edges of that tape, the, you know, where I don't need the tape to be. So now that I've taken my X-Acto knife and traced along the edges, I can, I can peel up these, this tape that I don't need anymore. And those areas are successfully masked. And now I gotta do that for the rest of all the areas that I painted, like the flag and the strappings back here. And the head there, I'm gonna do that and I'll come back to you. All right, so I've got all of the areas that I painted covered in tape, chest plate, strap, flag, more straps, and then the large area of the head right here. The next thing I need to do is I remember when I printed on these boards as registration marks, I made these little, little tick marks on the exterior of the whole piece. So I could line up the block in the same exact spot. I need those. Those can't get covered in spray paint. So I'm going to cover each one of those with a little piece of tape as well, so that I know where to place the block when I print it again. And that's it, that's done. Now to do that nine more times or 10 more times for all of them and we'll be ready to spray paint. Oh, one more note since I'm going to be um, cutting these out of the board, not using the whole piece as to be framed or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter to me that this is still here. If I was, if I was wanting to spray paint the background, I'd probably tape this off as well, but I'm not, or not tape it, just cut that off as well. And doing it in a different order, doing a lot of the things different, but I'm not doing that. So this doesn't matter to me, this doesn't matter to me, and all these little areas don't matter to me. So, yeah. It's Wednesday now, and I've finished taping up all of the pieces that I have to tape up and paint this week. So those are all finished. They are ready to be spray painted. And now it's time to set up the outside studio. And it's very cold today, it's like 35 degrees outside today. So this should be fun. Yeah, it's a little windy too, but you know, these gotta get spray painted. Let's go outside, let's spray paint these up now. Whew, burr. <laughs> all right, I've got the outdoor studio all set up. Uh, I've got my headphones on so I can listen to stuff as I spray. I'm not taking them off. You're just gonna have to deal with looking, ooh, it's cold. You're just gonna have to deal with looking at them uh, with me, them on my head. I can't even think it's so cold. It's probably windy, you probably hear that too. Hopefully it's not too bad. Ah, all right. So um, I am going to uh, spray paint these llamas up and then I'll move on to the other ones. But yeah, let's spray paint the llamas. Those are gonna be like gray and purples and stuff. I'm just gonna have fun with them. Llamas are all done. Now I'm gonna paint the other ones, the five pugs, a penguin, an octopus, a skunk, a dog. Paint all those, get those ready to go, and uh, hopefully I can print these all tomorrow. Got it all spray painted, got it all done, all taped up, all ready to 
peel up the tape that took hours to, uh, to put down, uh, and it's gonna take about 20 minutes to peel it all up probably. Much, much simpler than laying it down. But it's all finished, all done, and now I get to reveal what I've done. Do you wanna see? All right, check it out. I'm gonna do the llamas last. I'm gonna start with all the other ones first. All right, so I'm excited. Today's Friday, and I get to see all the work that I've done this week on these, I think 17 pieces come together finally. I'm not gonna finish them today because finishing them uh, would include cutting them out and painting the edges, but I will get them, you know, 90% of the way there, and you can see them basically finish. You can start to see how they're going to look. So, from, from setting up the registration, cutting the wood, painting the boards, masking it all off, spray painting the boards. Today is the last step. Today I'm going to print the image onto the boards. So, let's get going. Let's get going on getting that ready. Let's get it going. All right, I'm going to start with the pugs. B's not very good at sharing the sunspot. First, we've got ink up the block. Next, I've got the board that I'm going to be printing on. This is one of my pug boards. So you can tell because it says pug right there. Um, right here, I've got all my registration marks that I have exposed. So I need to just grab the block, line those lines up, and you'll see how those line up here in a second. All right, so those lines line up with these lines on the back of the pug block. And I just gotta hope that I get it down good enough. Looks pretty good right there. So I'm gonna go with that. I put a piece of plastic over it to protect the roller from the ink on the back of the block. And cross my fingers and start rolling it through the press. All right, on the other side of the press now, pull it to the edge of the press bed so I can get to it. Flip it around so you guys can see better. And let's hope that I know what I'm doing. ka -cha! There it is. Looks pretty good. Everything lined up. This one was a real easy uh, registration because all I really needed to line up was that, that pink tongue right there. But it all lined up pretty nicely. You got a little bit of a glare. I'll hold it up for you. Looks good. Looks good. Now to do this four more times for the pug. And now for the main event. The llama. I'm gonna ink one of these up, print it, and see how I did. Place this one on the press bed. Grab the block and ink it up. Once again, I've got my registration marks on the side of the llama here. Boop, 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 boop. They're all over. And hopefully, I mean, I know they will. Those will match up with the registration marks I've got on the back of this block. And they do. I want to get it set close, but if I have to adjust it a, a hair while it's laying down on the board, that's not a huge problem for me. That looks pretty good, so I'm going to send it through. Put the plastic on top. Let's go. Marty's sitting right underneath the camera. Going to give her a good luck pet. All right, fingers crossed. Whew. 
Not too bad. Actually pretty good. It's a little bit light up in these areas, but I'd rather underprint than overprint. I'd say success. All right, 10 more times. I actually like it. It looks really good. I like sharp. Hugs, llama astronauts all finished up. Uh, now I'm just gonna take care of the last four? Four prints, the skunk, the penguin, the octopus with swords, and the the, <laughs> the hound dog. Uh, I'm gonna take care of all those now. You'll see them being printed just like that. Oh boy, all right, those are finished. Man, the dog, the last dog I did was stuck to the board real good. I thought, I'm sure you saw me trying to pry it up. I couldn't get it up, um, but I finally got it up, thankfully. Uh, I guess too much ink, a lot of black area on that piece. So it just kind of got glued down, but they're all finished. Those have to dry for a couple days. And then next week I can uh, cut them out and touch them up a little bit. I'll show you what I mean by that next week. So come back for that. Um, it's lunchtime. I got. I'm gonna go eat something, and I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna. I got a couple T-shirts to print again, and I want to print one more thing. One more thing. Got some food in my belly. All right. I've got two shirts to print over there in the basket, and I've got. I cut some new fabric. One of the shirts I have to print is the doodle block, and so I cut some more fabric to print the doodle block onto this to make more things out of that later. You know, just being super productive when I have ink out on that block. But after that, that's gonna do it for this. That's gonna do it for me this week. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching. Once again, thanks for hanging out with me this week. Hopefully you enjoyed the my printing on wood process and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks. All right, bye.